Malayalam cinema is always dependent on literature, good literature. People like, you know, it, 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 the strength of Malayalam cinema has always been the writers. You know, the kind of respect what writers get uh, in the entire Indian inter- inter- industry, I think Malayalam cinema is the best. Still, Malayalam cinema is had a lot of creative writers. Uh, those are from literature background. I mean, it's not from not not only from cinema cinema background. Now, now the thing is that there is a proper way of amalgamation which has happened between writers and directors. So it's like a combined art form, and uh, probably it is because you know uh, they, we all move into a single page so easily. And there, there is no other, uh, you know, pressures coming from the production side. So I prefer watching uh, Malayalam and Tamil movies more. So either it's regional movies, and my team has also become like that. So they keep telling me, this film has come. Ye Goregaon East me is theatre me subtitles ke saath hai. Ye wahan pe hai. the exact same thoughts as Anurag Keshab and Mahesh Narayanan. In fact, if we take a look back at the first quarter of 2024, Malayalam cinema has offered us some amazing content-oriented movies across different genres. Today, another great Malayalam movie, Avisham, released and I had a complete blast watching the film. Before I move forward, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. Avisham narrates the story of three teenagers who reach Bangalore for their engineering engineering degree and get involved in a fight with seniors. Grown tired of being bullied by their seniors, they try to find a local gangster named Ranga to help them take revenge. Ranga is this colorful and friendly gangster who takes the boys under his wings. The boys consider themselves lucky enough to gain a huge support from Ranga who treats them like his own. As they go deeper in Ranga's circle, they find out that they have gotten more than they bargained for and now it is tough to leave Ranga. The film starts on a sober note introducing the three teenagers. On the outset, you get a feeling of three idiots or chichori. Even the scenes where the three boys are bullied and physically manhandled, it kind of reminds you of the previous college movies based on the same theme. However, everything changes as soon as Fahad Fasal appears on a screen and from then on, you're in for a roller coaster ride of fun and entertainment. There are several moments that make you laugh out loud. Just as you think that things are getting serious, you come across a hilarious scene either by Fahad Fasal or the three friends. After seeing the initial 30 minutes of the film, Avisham establishes its tone effectively, providing ample humor while delving into the lives of new college students. The film doesn't go overboard at any point, be it the backstories of the three boys or Ranga. There is a brilliant balance of each element and part, writing and direction. Avisham is written and directed by Jitu Madhavan of Romancham fame. I loved Romancham and I thoroughly enjoyed Avisham. Avisham. Jitu Madhavan provides a tremendous groundwork establishing the characters, the conflict, and he doesn't dive into the conventional gangster's tropes. He injects humor into Ranga's story and character and doesn't focus on unnecessary and mindless action scenes. I simply love how Madhavan has introduced Fahad's character. Jitu Madhavan takes his time to establish the plot and doesn't focus too much on the flashback. He takes a minimalistic approach to the backstories of each character, which is what I loved about Avisham. G2 also focuses on the present. The writer-director doesn't focus too much on any build-up. In fact, he just comes to the point and presents this story to the viewers. Trust me when I say this, I love and enjoyed every single moment of the film. G2 Madhavan keeps you hooked throughout the film. Even the most serious and complex scenes such as the outburst of Fahad Fasil in the climax is hilarious. I felt bad I couldn't stop laughing at the same time. One of the most hilarious scenes is the climax in which the ring of mother's theme from KGF plays. That was a hilarious touch. A special mention goes to the one-liners by both the three friends, Fahad Fasel and Fahad's right hand, Amban. Cinematography in editing. The cinematography is absolutely wonderful and the film is tightly edited. Frankly speaking, I didn't find a single scene out of the place. It is so seldom to come across films where you don't want any scene to be edited out. The runtime does a complete justice to the story of the movie. Music 
music and choreography. The music of the film completely suits the mood of the film. The dance numbers are choreographed very well. Every time Fahad Fasil breaks into dance, you want to dance with him as well. The whole movie theater was a complete riot. Action sequences. The action sequences and the stunts are one of the biggest USPs of the movie. Not only that, but the combination of the stunts including the comical elements and the one-liners by Ranga and Amban while they bash the bad guys are entertaining and bring the house down. What's important to understand is that the action director doesn't overdo with over-the-top stunts and slow motion sequences which is quite common and frankly speaking absolutely tiring nowadays. The performances. Fahad Fossil sings his teeth into his character Ranga and you can't imagine anybody else but him as Ranga right from the moment he is introduced to every single sequence that he appears he is electrifying. Just when you think that he has aced some of the best characters he could possibly get in his career, he goes all out as Ranga and surprises you out of nowhere. His comic timing, emotional scenes in the flashback and the hilarious emotional outburst is a treat to watch. Not to forget, a special mention goes to the costume designs, clad in white adorned with flash gold chains and rings and donning a black ray-ban glasses suits Fahad Fasil perfectly well. Three teenagers portrayed by Midun, Aju and Shantan share a superb chemistry with each other and deliver a commendable performance. Sajin Gopu as Ranga's right-hand man, Amban has a hilarious comic timing and a great delight to see every time he appears. The chemistry between him and Fahad Fasil is the cause for much comedy and probably one of the most well-done pairing in recent times. Mansoor Ali Khan and Ashish Vidyati are unfortunately wasted and don't have much to offer. On the whole, Avesham is a complete entertainer. It doubles the eight celebrations. The film has a celebratory mood right from the beginning to the end. There is no dull moment in the film and I just loved it. Avesham is another brilliant piece of work from Malayalam cinema. This is it for me guys. Thank you for watching the review. Write down your thoughts in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future.